Yo people, I'm back with another video and um, this one's going to be different, it's not a music reaction, it's your reaction to me uh, on the new game, on the new BBC One game show Unbeatable, um, which aired yesterday. Uh, yeah, I was on it, I filmed it, I went up to Glasgow back in March to film it. Um, I thought might as well do a little video. I vlogged a bit of my time there, and the, on my travel, the big BBC Scotland studios, you know, it was mad, it was all mad. Uh, so I vlogged a bit of that. Um, but yeah, I thought why not just make a video reacting to it. You guys experience the moment with me, you know what I mean? Because I haven't watched it back yet. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I know it's, um, it's been a while, but um, I've got some. Uh, Exciting, uh, we've got an exciting day. Basically, I'm on the train to Edinburgh and then from Edinburgh to Glasgow because I'm participating in, in a new BBC One show called Unbeatable. Now, it's a quiz show, um, being asked to go on. It's, it's gonna be the first series of it. I'm gonna try and vlog, um, I'm gonna try and vlog the whole thing for you guys, um. Just to show you what ITV Studios and what, what the whole setup's gonna look like. Peace. Yes, people, touchdown Glasgow. Now I have to wait uh, for my taxi. Big time, big time business this. Touchdown BBC. Huh. This is wild. This is crazy. Right, we're heading. Wish me luck, guys. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Look at this place, huh? Is it bad that I don't know who any of those people are either? Crazy. Managed to secure a charger. Oh, it's my charger, but managed to secure somewhere to charge it. Um, got a little little tea on the way. I'm a bit early. Um, call time is 12.15, so I'm just chilling here. It's about 20 past 11 now, so yeah. See you guys in a bit. Secured the tea. Cheers. We'll do. Crazy. Yo guys, now that you've seen my little little vlog time, enjoying myself on my travels there. Uh, it was a mad, you know, it was a mad experience. But uh, anyways, let's get into the reaction because this is, honestly, this is going to be hilarious. Hello and welcome to the game where it's not just about finding the right answer, it's about finding the best answer that counts. We've got four contestants ready to play. They are Charlotte, Dylan, this Karen me? and Jay. This is mad, you know, look at <laughs> Oh my god. I was, I was, you know what, I wasn't extremely nervous. I was a bit nervous, you know. Can't even lie. Only one big BBC, you know, it's, it's, it's nerve wracking. Can make it through to the final and prove themselves unbeatable. Let's play round one. So basically, this game, I haven't even said what the game show is. So basically, the game show is. Um, obviously there's four of us and we're competing against each other oh sorry we're competing against each other to uh, like we'll get asked random questions and it's basically whoever gets the unbeatable answer wins the whole thing in a way can you can eliminate others you'll understand as we go along but uh, you'll see you'll see 
In this round, the contestants will play individually to try and add as much money as they can to their own personal bank. The best way to do that is to find the unbeatable answer. First up, it's Charlotte. Right, we'll just we'll, we'll skip the my bits. We don't want to see any of these any of the other neeks. We don't want to see these guys, honestly. We just want to see your boy. Uh, oh. Hi Dylan. You alright? I'm well. Where are you from? Um, um, Newcastle. And you're studying the North East. Um, shoot, my mum. My mum told us when she was watching it, she seen this ch uh, chew chewing gum and it's triggering me now. I, I can't even... Uh, yeah, uh, at the University of Sunderland, yeah. And what are you studying <laughs> there? Uh, sports journalism. Why do I sound like that? I don't, I promise you, I don't, do I actually sound like that? I don't, I don't sound like that really. Come on, please. So, you are hoping for some sports questions today? Brilliant. Is that the one that you want? Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you seem pretty relaxed about this show so far, considering you're on national TV. I'm composed, I'm composed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dylan. Let's see how... Let's see how... Shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have said that, because he was like, ah, you think you think you can just come on my game show and look at him, look at him. As you are, <laughs> when you see your first question. Let's get it done. Which of these six... Look at the swagger. Look at the swagger. Just... Come on, man. ...is highest up in the line of succession to the throne. The prince... I had no idea. had no idea what the answer was to this question, by the way. Which of these six royals is highest up in the line of succession to the throne? And they're not even relevant royals. Are these absolute... Who are these? Like, seriously... Royal Zara Tyndall, Earl of Wessex, Savannah Phillips, Viscount Seven, and Princess Beatrice. All right, what do you think? Do you recognize any of those names up there? I recognize the Princess Royal uh, and Princess Beatrice, and that, that's about it. To be fair. Okay, well, look, we're trying to find the unbeatable answer, it's worth a thousand pounds. But if you're not sure and you can't find it, you just need an answer that can beat some other answers. And like Charlotte, you can win a couple hundred quid. Yeah. Go with uh, Princess Beatrice. All right, come on down. I'm going to give you a chance to press your unbeatable button if suddenly you get a wave of confidence right. and you think that Princess Beatrice I mean, I is asking. unbeatable. It's worth a thousand pounds and your time starts now. Bottled it. <laughs> no, didn't, fair enough. Didn't want to okay. risk it. Are there any didn't answers up it, there that you it. think Princess Beatrice can beat? We're looking for the highest up in the line of succession to the throne. Zora Tyndall is a. Uh, it's giving us something. There's something about it. Should we try her? Come on. What does that mean? What? I don't even know what that means. It's giving us something. There's something about it. I don't even know who that is. What could it possibly be giving me, man? Oh, honestly, I'm the biggest talker ever. Honestly. Come on down, Zara. Zara Tyndall for one hundred pounds. Is Princess Beatrice higher up in the line of succession for the throne? Let's find out. Yes, there you go, £100. Look at that. Look at the head what on do you mean sport that you play? Uh, football. Football. Yeah. Is that how you celebrate a goal? Just a little nod? <laughs> Just a casual Just thing. Just a casual yeah. nod, yeah. No shirt over the head if you get this next one. So, we can either stick with £100 and take that through to the next round, or you can try and double it with another... It's... It... It's painful watching yourself back, I can't lie, it's painful. Him up there that Princess Beatrice can beat. Oh, I, might, I, might, I might just stick with it, you know. Might you gonna stick, stick with the 100? I might stick with the 100, yeah. I don't mind losing. <laughs> okay, well look, you've got 100 pounds, you're gonna take that through to the next round. Right. But let's find out if, like Charlotte, you had the unbeatable answer and all I did. along, and Dylan. And I did, oh. and I didn't press You absolutely button. did, it was worth a that's a grand. Pounds. That's a buzz. You need to see it. You need to see it. <laughs> Princess Beatrice is ninth it, in line to the throne, through to Zara Tyndall, nineteenth. Which um, I mean, I'm fourteenth, so that's <laughs> she's got no chance. Uh, well on their fresh, fresh face. No you still got yourself a hundred pounds. So we'll see yeah. you in the next round. Anyways. Well done, Pat. I mean, we'll take it. We'll take it. Hundred pound. We're in the round two. I'm going with some, not load, a lot, I could have had a bug, bottled it. We're going in with something, you know what I mean? We're not in zero. Uh, we'll skip to my bit. I'll let you know that the girl to my left, no, 
the girl to my right on there, the first one, the blonde one that I'm standing next to, called Charlotte. She went in the second round with two hundred. I went in with a hundred, and them two other the other two people went in with zero. They were actually pretty nice people as well. All of them, all of them were nice. To be fair, like we hung out the whole day. Um, they were nice. Even though I was the youngest there, but yeah, nice people. Right, we'll skip to my bit. Right. I think we're here. So in last place at the moment is yeah. Jay and Karen with zero. Cool as a cucumber, Dylan is in second with <laughs> one. Cool as a cucumber, Dylan. You know what I'm saying? Pound, but we're romping ahead so far. Two hundred pounds to take her into the second round. It's Charlotte. Oh. Now it's time for round two. In this round, the players will go head to head. Now, Charlotte, you didn't press your unbeatable button, yeah. but so far you are in the lead. So you actually get to pick which one of these three. So round two, like you obviously said, you go head to head, so she gets to pick who she wants to face in the second round. So let's see. You go up against in round two. I'm going to pick Dylan because he's so calm, I think. I took that personally, you know. I took that. Look, look, at, the, look at my face. Look at my face. Look at this. And me, and therefore I'll do better. So oh. Carmen, she picked me because I'm the youngest and therefore it makes me the dumbest. That's why she picked me, not because make her calm. Do you believe that? Even the, even the comments of you actually believe that. Also, I'll leave the link uh, to this uh, link to this episode in the description as well. Okay, you think so? That's the most politest way I've been called not smart ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, it's time for Charlotte versus Dylan. Unbelievable, I can't believe it. Let's battle good men. Round two, baby. Okay, this is where it gets serious for Charlotte and Dylan because now it's a game of survival. The first to win two question boards will send their opponent pack in with nothing and you'll get the same okay. question boards and take it in turns to choose an answer. Just as before, we want you to pick the unbeatable answer, but if you're not sure, just pick an answer that you think can beat your opponents. So, who will come out victorious? Let's find out with our first question board. Of these six settings, which is the least commonly booked as a wedding ceremony venue in the UK? I mean, this question's... Barn, castle... City Hotel Venue, Registry Office, Town Hall, Garden Outdoor, Warehouse. This is according to the UK Wedding Report. If you've had your wedding in a warehouse, I'm sorry, but come on. You've got to do better. 2020. Oh, my bad. Charlotte, you have banked the most money so far, so you get to mm -hmm. choose first. I am going to say Castle. You think Castle? Yeah. Okay, let's bring Castle down to the floor. I can't believe she said Castle, you know, because I've actually seen some weddings Dylan, in a castle. Dylan, been to many weddings? Well, I've been in a fair share. <laughs> okay. been in a fair share, every fair. Have not been to a warehouse, though, so... A warehouse wedding, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Okay, let's bring warehouse down. Respectable. You've both chosen an answer. Do either of you think you've got the unbeatable answer? Because if you do, and you press your unbeatable button, you could win a thousand pound, but be careful because if you press the button and you're wrong, you'll end up handing a hundred pound over to your opponent. But more importantly, giving them it's my favorite, the ball. That's Three the seconds thing, to decide That's the thing about the whether what you've got is unbeatable. Bottled it again. I bottled it again. Nobody's saying I do on was, that occasion. The risk was too heavy, man. <laughs> Let's go head to head. The first to two battles will take the board, and you'll be one step closer to playing Jay or Karen in the next round. So £100 for every battle you win. Castle versus Warehouse. Let's find out which was booked the least. I don't oh, want boy, it was Warehouse. Me. 200 bucks. No. Then you got the first choice now. We're looking for the least popular venue. You know, go barn. Go We're going to go barn. Go OK, barn. let's bring barn down. Barn. That's a respectable answer okay, as well, Charlotte. I think. I'm going to have to go with Garden Outdoor just because I think the other two were really popular. Let's bring Garden Outdoor down. Dylan, if it is Barn, you'll win the first board and be halfway to the next round. Charlotte, you need this to be Garden Outdoor to draw level. Let's find out. 
Yeah. Drew yeah. Level. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Charlotte, you're to really? pick. We've got City Hotel venue or Registry Office Town Hall. You think both of them are quite popular? Yeah. But we're looking for the least popular. Gordon Outdoor to Bond, really? Who has a wedding in a barn, though? I still can't get over this. Registry office and town hall. Registry office, town hall. Yeah. There we go. Dylan, that means you end up with City Hotel Venue. Yeah. Which of these was the least commonly bought? This is for the first board. Let's find out. Oh, it was. Good call, Charlotte. One board to nil, which means Dylan. You've got to win these next two question one boards down, man. to stay in the game. Look, Thierry so Henry, look, no, was Ronaldinho vibes. You got Ronaldinho vibes from that right there. Come on. It was Warehouse, which is what you had. Unbeatable but unfortunately, answer again. you did not Good. press that unbeatable uh, button. It had guaranteed you the board and a £1,000. Dylan, that's twice now that you've had the unbeatable answer and not pressed it. Not going with my instincts. Let's get our next question. Book. Not my instinct. Of these six items, which is least likely to be put into a sixteen-year-old school lunch? Right box. up my street. Fresh fruit, crisps, sandwich, popcorn, I smoothie, said, oh, cereal bar. I'm looking back. This now, is, is so according easy. to a poll conducted by Ipsos. Now, Dylan, you're probably no offence, but you're the youngest here. You're the closest to sixteen. Probably the last one to have had a school lunch. They, they all had kids, you know. They all had kids. I was the only young person there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say... We're looking for least likely. Popcorn. Let's bring popcorn down. I was confident in this answer. Probably you know. I'm trying to think of the one that I would have least wanted in my lunchbox, and that's smoothie. So I'm going to go with smoothie. Yeah. Let's bring smoothie down. So, smoothie Where's versus popcorn. popcorn. Now, if either of you think you've got the unbeatable answer, you've got that button in front of you, you know it's worth a £1,000, but Charlotte, you press it and you win, you'll be going through to the next round. Dylan, you'll be pulling level, but if you're wrong, you'll be sending Charlotte through. Three seconds to decide, oh, starting now. She pressed it straight away. I didn't even have a chance to. Oh, it's gone for it. She right, let's it find out if away. smoothie is the unbeatable answer. If it is, it's worth a thousand pounds, but more importantly, it's worth that place in the next round. So we're looking for least likely in a school pat lunch box. Let's start with most popular sandwich. That seems to make sense. I think we can get rid of sandwich. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> okay, next up, fresh fruit. Oh, good. <laughs> Let's find out, smoothie versus fresh fruit. Yeah, okay. Now it starts to get a little bit more difficult. Crisps. Obviously. Smoothie versus crisps. We're looking for least likely in a school pat lunch box for a 16 year old. Let's find out. Yeah, still remaining unbeatable, Charlotte. Cereal bars next. Oh. Smoothie versus look at, look, cereal look at me. bar. Look at me. Let's look at Charlotte. Out. Look at me and Charlotte. I'm just like, I know. So, one of you has got the unbeatable answer. Let's bring popcorn down to the floor. Should Dylan have pressed his unbeatable sure, look, I know, It's worth £1,000 to Charlotte, if she's right, and you'll be sending Dylan home. Which is least <laughs> likely to be put into a 16-year-old's lunchbox? Smoothie versus popcorn. It's all on this. The nostrils are flared. Look at me. Oh! Look at <laughs> Dylan has pulled it level with popcorn. One all, Charlotte. He's getting me back now, isn't he? He really is, isn't he? Look, Here's yeah, how yes, I'm done. getting you back. Popcorn picking on the young one. Come on. It's right at the top. And I know my lunchbox. I had packed lunch when I was in primary. I know about these things. Even though it's a 16 year old, but still. Of course, the most popular. Okay, Dylan, one more board to win it. Yep. Same for you, Charlotte. Let's find out one what our question it, is. Man. Which of these six authors has written the most novels? Out of depth. Out of de not really authors. I'm, I can't remember the last time I read a book. It was a Diary of the Wimpy. Actually, I do. It was a Diary of the Wimpy Kid book. Still. John Le Carre, 
Dan Brown, Nick Hornby, J.K. Rowling, Harper Lee, Not a clue, by the way. E.L. James. So, Charlotte. Well, Harper Lee's my favourite author, but I think I'm gonna go for J.K. Rowling. Let's bring J.K. Rowling down. What do you think, Dylan? Uh, gonna go for John Le Carre. John Le Carre. No idea. Do either blind. of you think you've got the unbeatable answer? Because if you do, and you press your unbeatable button, it's worth a grand and a place in the next round if you're right. But if not, you're going home and you've given the victory to your Tented. rival. So Three seconds starting now. now. None of us want to press it. No. Okay, neither of you were up for pressing your button on that occasion, so we're now going to battle it out one at a time. We've got your first choices, J.K. Rowling versus John Le Carre. If you win two of these, you will win the board and you'll be going through to the next round. We're looking for the author who has written the most novels. Oh, first blood goes to Dylan. A hundred pound enters your bank. And Dylan, you've got a slight advantage here because you get to pick first. Now you've got Dan Brown, Nick Hornby, Harper Lee, and E.L. James. We're looking for the author who has written the most novels. Someone, someone's telling us Dan Brown. So. Nothing is okay, telling let's bring you Dan that. Brown down. Why do I, nothing's telling me that, you know. I don't know why. What about you, Charlotte? I've, I've never actually heard of him, so I'm going to go for Nick Hornby. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring Nick Hornby down. Sorry, Nick, if you're watching. <laughs> Charlotte, you need it to be Nick Hornby to stay around. Otherwise, Dylan is going through. It's all on this. Let's find out. It's tense. Oh, there it is. Now back in the One game, more. Man. Another hundred pound, but that's not what's important right now. What's important is that it's all on these two. And Charlotte, you get first dibs. Who do you think has written more novels? I'm going to go for E.L. James. Okay. I knew it, you know. That this, means Dylan, at this point, you've ended up with Harper Lee. At this point, I knew. I'd, 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 uh, look at me. Look at me. Not the one you would have picked? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoever wins this is going through to the next round to play. Look at the disappointment. I already James. know. I already know. Let's find out. So Dylan, you were absolutely cool as a cute. Oh, wow, hey, sorry, Dylan. Sorry. Hmm. You're sorry, are you? Okay. All the way through. But what I really want to know is if either of you had the unbeatable answer at any point. Let's find out. And I had it. I had I've it. I've had a three things. <laughs> You've had an absolute shocker Don't there. Don't so. look at it. Don't look at it. What's it going to be like when you get back to uni? Don't want to think about it. <laughs> John Le Carre was the unbeatable answer, 23 novels. J.K. Rowling with 13, and Harper Lee, How just the two supposed to classics. Know this? So, Charlotte, well done. You've managed to get through to the next round. You picked right in the end. You went uh, up against Dylan, and uh, you've sent him home. Look, look, tail between his legs there. No, you're not. <laughs> she says, so, is she, though? <laughs> Dylan, thanks so much for joining in. That's fine. Take care. Good luck with your studies. Take care. It's not fine. Look at me. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. It's not fine at all. Jeez. Um, as you can see, guys, I was on a. Your boy was on a game show on BBC. Crazy, innit? Crazy. This small channel with 300 subscribers. Out here. Anyway, guys, um, the reason why I haven't been uploading in like the last three months is uni. Mainly, uni had me by the balls, man. And I finished last week. Um, so more content will be coming We're on the rise. Um, I'm also going to put my TikTok um, in the bio, in the link in the description as well, because I've been doing a bit of that as well. Uh, uni's finished, man. Exam season's over, so I'm back. Uh, you'll be seeing regular videos from next week. Whatever you want me to react to, leave it in the comments, and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hope you enjoy. Peace.